All right, so first off, we start in Riverside, going up to Santa Barbara. Tomorrow we'll go up to Big Sur, Carmel, Monterey, Santa Cruz, uh, the Big Basin, which is basically the um, Redwoods. Then we're gonna go up to San Francisco, cross over the Golden Gate Bridge, go to Sacramento. Then from there, we're gonna go to Tahoe, um, Yosemite. Hopefully everything's good there. Uh, Hey, what's up you guys? So actually starting a road trip today, pretty pumped. Uh, drove up from Riverside, now in Santa Barbara. And um, yeah, so this is actually the campgrounds. Oh, not the campgrounds. Well, so it's called Santa Barbara Sunrise RV Park. Right there. I got the last spot, thankfully. It's a $60 a night, not too bad. And then this is what the it looks like here. And this is our spot that we got. It's got a picnic table, pretty nice. And I was told it has the hookups back here. I should plug in. Right there, you got the water and electrical for that. So it should be pretty good. Good morning, you guys. It's day two of the road trip. Uh, waking up, it's about 6.30 right now. Um, I'm starting to pack up. Hopefully get on the road here pretty quick to Big Sur to try to beat the traffic out there. Yeah, so it should be a fun day in store, and um, yeah, let's go have some fun. Hey, what's up you guys? So, we decided to stretch out the lakes a little bit again. Um, so this is actually Elephant Seal Beach. So supposedly there's some elephant seals that way, and there's a ton of people that direction, so hopefully we can see some elephant seals. So let's go take a look. That was pretty cool, right? Seeing those big old elephant seals and see how massive they actually are. Some of them were actually playing in the water too, so that was kind of cool. Get some footage of it. Um, yeah, just never know what you're going to expect on this road trip. Alright, so as we're waiting for these construction guys to do the lane, I guess they're painting or something like that, cleaning it up or something. Anyways, so um, what's your guys' favorite thing to do on a road trip? You know, listen to music, um, play the license plate game. Um, this is nice actually, it looks like they're gonna let us pass here in a second. That's good. Um, but anyways, I know like me and my brother, we'd always play like the license plate game, um, growing up and everything before, you know, devices and everything like that. Sometimes we bring like a portable DVD player, um, old school, right? <laughs> um, you know, our coloring books or, you know, breed books, and then, um, or just sometimes just looking outside, just kind of like watching and everything like that. Um, Obviously, too, having a good playlist and everything like that, having some good music to jam out to, blast, you know, you, um, you know, pump up your, you know, music, you basically blast it, you know, sing it at the top of your lungs. I know for me, it's like some 80s music or some, um, some good, like, alternative Christian rock and everything like that, or I even do get down with some metal music, too, so, um, yeah, and some hardcore, so it kind of just depends on what mood I'm in. But then also, too, I like dubstep, techno, dance so i'm all over the board and everything like that but all right you guys so it looks like it actually cleared up the road here and we're going to continue on our journey but i thought i'd share that with you um kind of some fun facts and everything about me that you guys are um didn't know maybe all right you guys just fill up the van but look at this $92.69 for 20, almost 20 gallons. And then that's the prices right there. Pretty expensive, but you gotta fill up. I believe it's called the Brexy Bridge right here behind us, which is kind of one of the iconic things to do around Big Sur. Big Sur is actually kind of just a little um, kind of uh, mountain community and everything like that. A couple restaurants and Obviously overpriced gas and everything like that, but 
this is kind of one of the things to do. And look down there, beautiful Pacific Ocean. And yeah, so let's keep going. So you guys, we finally arrived in Monterey, California now. And uh, actually, all of the, pretty much all the campgrounds around here are pretty much packed. So I ended up reserving a hotel tonight um, for 70 bucks, normally 150 at um, Travel Lodge. And it comes a complimentary breakfast. And so I'm just gonna be staying here tonight. Free Wi-Fi plus a good shower. Always beneficial. All right, you guys, we got the room key. One of these pockets here. Do 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 do. Wi-Fi password. Important. <clears throat> Apparently, we're near the airport. Room tour. Okay. Much better than I expected. Bathroom. Bathroom. Big sink area, bathroom, coffee, much needed, beds, ooh, actually pretty modern considering, you know, like I said, normally this is a $150 room, got it for 70 bucks, ooh, there's even a pool out there, that looks nice, and... TV, fridge, microwave, pretty solid setup. This will this will be nice for to sleep in tonight. Change it up a little bit for the van too. So, and like I said, no campgrounds were available, but this place was. So, why not? Awesome. Thank. You. Hey guys. So for dinner, I decided to try out Gianni's. Gianni's. You can see Gianni's Pizza, and um, yeah, then they also have gelato. This is a uh, cookie dough, and they said the pizza is gonna take about 25 minutes. We chose a Hawaiian. Um, this is one of the top rated places on TripAdvisor, so I figured it's gotta be some good, right? And then uh, I think we'll have to go take a walk down the water, um, check out some boats, and maybe the Fisherman's Wharf and everything like that, so not a bad night. Um, but start with dessert first. Going in for the cookie dough. Oh, almost tastes like it has a little caramel in it too. Mm. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Favorite type of ice cream. And actually, probably favorite type of gelato too. Mm. It's interesting. It has a different texture than like regular ice cream. It's a little thicker, like more creamy. That's kind of what it tastes like. Good flavor though. Look at that. That's delicious. All right, I'm gonna finish this, but then hopefully by then, the pizza's ready, and then we'll pound out that pizza. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, we're trying out Gianni's Pizza, and um, so I'm a big fan of Hawaiian pizzas, if you didn't know that. Um, but it's kind of funny, because a Hawaiian pizza would really probably not have pineapple and ham and mozzarella. It most likely would have spam on it if it was actually Hawaiian pizza. But anyways, if it was from Hawaii. Anyways, um, but I'm a big fan of Hawaiian pizza, American. Um, well anyways, so we got the pineapple, we got that pepperoni, I mean not pepperoni, we got the ham, we got that cheese. All right, so this is Gianni's. One of the things I can tell you off the bat is that one of the things I love is the fact that it's light sauce, not heavy sauce. I actually prefer it light sauce. And um, the crust is in between like a medium and like a thin crust, which is really good. And so let's try it. Mm. You get the juiciness of the pineapple. The mozzarella tastes super fresh. And um, the ham tastes really good. The ham tastes like... You know, just cut like they just sliced it and everything like that. And the crust, like I said, it has a really good texture to it. Almost like a croissant type 
roll kind of thing. It's not really like flat and everything like how most crust is and it's not frozen for sure. Because you can taste the quality of it. And yeah, and then the gelato that I tried earlier was really good too. So if you're in Monterey, um, try out Gianni's. Um, get that gelato and get that pizza in you and you'll enjoy it. All right, let me finish this piece then we'll go to Fisherman's Wharf, I think is how you say it. Not dwarf, but wharf. All right, let's go. What's up you guys, so now we're at Fisherman's Wharf and they got a bunch of the boats and everything behind us and actually over there on the other side they actually got a beach and um, but yeah, you got all different types of sailboats, motorboats and everything like that. Some pretty awesome play, um, ones. And then also too you got you know, some of the smaller ones. So all the different sizes which is kind of cool. Alright you guys, so for that kind of does it for Monterey. One of the things that would be worth doing though if you were here is um, checking out the aquarium. And it would be worth doing, definitely. But right now, due to COVID, it's actually closed right now, so you can't do it. Um, but that does it for day two. Tomorrow, we're gonna be checking out San Francisco and Santa Cruz, and going over the Golden Gate Bridge. So that should be pretty fun. All right, see you guys. See you in the night tomorrow. What's up, you guys? So we're in the beautiful Santa Cruz, California, heading to the pier right now. And uh, so I drove by the boardwalk. Um, one of the sad things, I should get a mask actually, um, is because of the corona, uh, you do gotta wear a mask everywhere essentially. Also too, because of corona, they shut down the boardwalk. And yeah, kind of a big bummer because that has all the roller coasters, a lot of cool rides and everything like that. And yeah, so. Get our mask, probably go to the other side. All right, we got a fresh mask. Locking it up. All right, let's go. So you do have, what's kind of cool right here near the pier is it's called Exploration Center, which is the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. This big building right here. So I'm assuming they got a bunch of marine life and everything like that. Alright, okay, so we're up at the mountains right now, and uh, there's this place called Skywood Trading Post that has groceries and everything over here. So, just bought a sandwich too, and then picked up a hat, and I'm all about the flat bill. What's even cool, it has the California bear, which is kind of one of the symbols for California. Looked it good, and I'm all about the flat bill, all about the bear. I'm a huge fan of Chicago bears, and I've been told I sleep like a grizzly bear because of my snoring and everything like that, and so, how to get it? Got the sandwich right in there with the Herba May, Herba Mate tea, and uh, time for some lunch. Then we're gonna head down to San Francisco, cross over that Golden Gate Bridge, and have a blast. And then head to Yosemite after that. And so, digging this road trip so far. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes after I eat this. We'll get back on the road. All right, you guys, so one of the must-do things um, when you're here in San Francisco is check out this house right here, which is known as the Full House, or if you're a fan of uh, Fuller House, that's the house where the show is actually based off of, and the front porch and everything like that. It's just right here. And let me get a little scroll up and everything so you guys can see a little better. Like I said, if you're a fan of Full House or Fuller House, 
this one right here at 1709. Uh, I'll throw a link down below where it's at. And uh, yeah, so let's get some shots of it. So obviously, you know, Uncle Joey is down there in the basement. You got Jesse up top and the main floor and everything right there. So pretty cool. One of the things that are worth doing too on this road trip is uh, so if you go over the bridge, come this way, and then you can actually take the scenic route, which brings you to the back of the, um, brings you behind the mountain, and basically you go through this tunnel, and it brings you right here, so you actually get this perspective of the Golden Gate Bridge, and you get some pretty sweet pics. And then also too, you can see the forest down this way, down. So Alcatraz is right there, straight ahead. And then you also got San Francisco, the rest of it, right there. One of the things you gotta love about California is those beautiful sunsets. Uh, right now we're in all close to Yosemite, on our way to the Stana Hostel tonight. Um, supposed we got eight, nine more miles to go, um, but wanted to get that picture of that sunset and just show you guys that sunset really quick. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go get to that hostel. Hey, what's up you guys? So this is day four of the road trip so far and last night we stayed at this place, which is the Yosemite Hostel. Um, very comfortable place, uh, super nice. I ended up being the only one here so I have the whole place to myself, um, which is kind of nice, but one of the benefits of normally staying in hostels is you have so many people that are there from all over the place and um, so many like-minded people that love to travel and everything like that. So that part was the bummer, but having the whole place to myself is pretty nice. Um, because you have the bathroom, so you have the shower, you have the whole down downstairs and everything, so I was able to edit some videos on the table and uh, watch some videos and everything like that, catch up on Lost. And um, yeah, so it was kind of nice to have the whole place to myself, but like I said, it would have been nice to have a bunch of people here to hang out with and talk with and everything like that. Although they didn't hear my snoring, so that was maybe a good thing. <laughs> so anyways, I would give you a 70 hostel, a uh, really good rating and everything like that. Really comfortable place. Those beds are super comfortable. They have the AC unit in the room too. Um, so it made it very enjoyable. Um, one thing to remember too is that they do have uh, towels in the main, um, the main uh, office area and also any toiletry stuff and everything you want to make sure you bring and everything like that so some things to keep in mind before coming to the Yosemite hostel but aside from that pretty nice place all right okay, so we just tried getting into Yosemite right now um, apparently because of COVID and everything like that, you have to do your reservation online, which I didn't realize that, which is partly my bad and everything for not entering into Yosemite. Um, but I'll probably grab some clips of Yosemite just so you guys could see what it's like. Um, probably story blocks and everything like that so you guys could just see what Yosemite is like. But I guess from here, we just gotta end the road trip. Um, I'm gonna head back to Riverside and call it a day, I guess. Kind of a bummer. Um, would've liked to see it in person, but um, maybe in the future. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this road trip. Uh, get out there, travel, learn, grow, and create. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.